Five rescued after carbon monoxide poisoning incident on Lake of the Woods. This in from my news partner, the Northern Light Region newspaper in Baudette. A family from Big Lake was rescued after exhibiting signs of carbon monoxide poisoning while staying in a fish house on Lake of the Woods. According to Lake of the Woods County Sheriff's Investigator Craig Severs, at 2.45 p.m. on February 12th, the Sheriff's Office responded to a report of a possible carbon monoxide poisoning. The report said two adults and three children, one an infant, were exhibiting signs of carbon monoxide poisoning while fishing off Lake of the Woods near the end of Adrian Resort's access road about 17 miles out on the lake. The reporting party indicated the adult male was falling asleep and his wife was having difficulty waking him. The adult female was throwing up and three children were having difficulty breathing. The sheriff's office, assisted by Lake of the Woods uh, Ambulance and Rescue Squad, responded to the scene. The family was located and transported to CHI Lake uh, Wood Health Center in Baudette. In a post on the local fishing page on social media, the female adult, uh, Shay Sogard, spoke of the family's ordeal, urging anglers to make sure their carbon monoxide detectors work. Sogard said the family thought they had food poisoning, as all had headaches and were throwing up. My husband saw me unresponsive on the ground, and even though he was loopy himself, he got a jolt of energy and opened the fish house door, called 911, although there was hardly service, Sogard posted. He got us out and drove uh, to a neighbor's uh, fish house. When the family arrived at the hospital and bought debt, the kids were checked out and were found to be okay. Shay and her husband, Benjamin, however, had to be transported to Hennepin County Medical Center and placed in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber. They are now recovering from the, their ordeal. It was very scary and a big lesson was learned, Sogard said, advising other anglers to always have a backup carbon monoxide detector. We are very lucky to be alive. The sheriff's office would like to remind all ice fishermen to be cautious of how they seal and bank in their ice shelters. Most folks who are enjoying a day of ice fishing want to remain warm, uh, said investigator Seaver. In a fisherman's effort to stay warm, they may seal off their ice shelter using various techniques, such as banking snow around the base. Eliminating all drafts and cold air may also mean you're cutting off your supply to fresh air. Most uh, solid-walled ice shelters have built-in air vents, Severs continued. Through the course of the day of fishing, moisture from breathing, the ice melting near your fish hole, and from cooking makes for a humid environment in your ice shelter. When the cold air coming through your ice shelters, fresh air meets the humid air, it begins to freeze and create frost in the fresh air vent. Over the course of a few hours, that frost can build up and completely block off your supply to fresh air. Always be sure to have a working carbon monoxide detector to ensure your shelter has continuous access to fresh air, Seaver said. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.